if birds will come in front of cow, oh, they will give me kathar by no. So only for this reason he was standing. But it is for Sudhakun, Sudhir Bhokta, all these human beings. For them it had been told by Krishna. Arjun was lamenting. Why Krishna told me, I am surrendered, not surrendered only, I am more so high associates of Krishna. I am Sakha of Krishna. And why these things? Oh, you so surrendered me. I don't know in what life I surrendered. No need of now. So, Sukhde Goswami is not telling for only Parikshit. Oh, he was more than him. He played on the arms of Krishna. Oh, Sukhde Goswami was not like that. So, in some cases, oh, Parikshit seems so much superior, very humble. And then it was told, Lakdha Sudur Labham Idam Babu Sam Pavante Manusham Arthadam Banitamapi Hadi Turanam Jate Tana Pate Danum Ritu Yavat Nisir Vishaya Vishaya Karu Sarvatasya. Oh, you should explain. Stand up and you can come here. Oh, there is any use of paper? Haribo. Haribo. <laughs> very good learned person and very good speaker. Writer to the direct sis of Siddha Bhakti Vedan Swami. Behind you. Oh, no. oh she is like father, we can see. <laughs> Some, but not always, sometimes. Srila <laughs> Maharaj has asked me to speak on this you verse. Can you stand up easily there also? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should go. <laughs> so before any, uh, even we hear common truth, um, aphorism, it gives us deeper appreciation and better understanding if we know the context when uh, it was spoken, who has spoken it, the circumstances. So this verse originally is from the 11th canto, was spoken by the Avadut Brahman to Maharaj Yadu and propelled him in his path to perfection. Um, personally, I was acquainted with this verse uh, from Maharaj Gurudev Shri who included it in his uh, excellent treatise on Guru Tattva, the universal uh, teacher. And that Papa thought that was so important that he wanted it included in every compilation of Vyas Puja offerings. And so that's one of the jewels which is in his string of gems which uh, Srila Prabhupada includes in that wonderful treatise. So, and uh, we're also learning from uh, the biography of Srila Bhakti Pagyan Keshav Maharaj that Srila Maharaj has given us, that in the life of uh, Srila Pujapad, Srila Shri Maharaj, in his first meeting with Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, uh, Srila Sarasati Thakur instructed him with that verse, so, uh, this 
a human form of life. Close. This human form of life uh, is very rare and difficult to obtain. And it bestows a special benefit, special boon, uh, therefore someone who is intelligent should turn up immediately without delay uh, endeavor for that ultimate goal of life uh, before this body becomes old and invalid. And because sense gratification, kalu sarvatasya, uh, it's always available in all the other conditions and all the other species of life. So this unique opportunity of bhakti, of performing devotional service, uh, which is there in the human form of life, uh, should be taken advantage of Tornam immediately, just like the Goswamis, Tiktva Tornam uh, Shesha Mandala Bhati. Immediately they uh, rejected, considered all the wealth of this world in which they had considerable, they were like kings, and they give up immediately. So uh, when Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati uh, Prabhupada spoke this verse to Srila Pujapada, Srila Maharaj, he expressed how indelibly this impressed him deeply. And very soon after returning home, he gave up his life for the service of Guru Vaishnavas. By hearing so, this is so. Well, he was already very fertile ground for it. <laughs> it was the impetus. <laughs> I want that some strong belief should come in you. And like Siddhar Maharaj, he left everything and he became surrendered to Srila Prabhupada. Oh. We should have this realization and at once quickly we should give up all sense gratifications in the power of all uh, this uh, 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 truly join Krishna consciousness and I have hope that you must do. For that I told that you should explain and you should realize this thing. I'm not telling only for you, for all. What is the Nishasayas Khalu Sarvatarsya? What is that Nishasaya? But you should realize this. And then you should realize this. Nishasaya Khalu. Oh, at once, without delay. Delay is dangerous. What is Nesasa? Om Gyan Timirandhasya Gyan Anjana Shadakaya Chakshurun Niditam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. So, Nitsreya Saya, Gurudev has ordered me to explain this. Nitsreya, Ni means to go very specifically. Shreyas means what is the beneficial, what is most beneficial. So nishreyas means that thing which is specifically beneficial. What is the ultimate goal of human life? Human life is not meant for eating, sleeping, mating and defending. Dharmena hina samana. Human being who is not pursuing the goal of life, this which is his ultimate self-interest, that person is no better than an animal. So, in this human form of life, one must ascertain one's real self-interest. What is that? Oh, Sri Krishna, he is the ultimate soul of all souls. Guru Deva Tatma, and one should accept Sri Guru Dev as good as Sri Hari, as good as Krishna. And that by serving Krishna, my real self-interest will be served. Why? Because Ananda we seek pleasure, we seek happiness. But instead in this world, Oh, we are overcome by fear, by the duality of entanglement in this world, where we seek happiness, we seek pleasure, but instead we find very little happiness and mixed with so much misery and so many problems. Therefore, Nishreya for that which is our real self-interest, which is actually beneficial, that we will only find in Krishna consciousness, in the association of pure devotees, in the at the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev.
Thurnam. What is the meaning of Thurnam? Advance without the law. I, from beginning, beginning today, not today, just now. Or prepare a saffron cloth very soon. Jai! Jai! Tathurna. Nisheshaya. Oh, we are explaining it our, from our uh, Pebe, Beja, Yattu. What is Nisheshaya? Not Krishna, Krishna Prem. No. And what kind of Prem? Like Hanuman, like uh, uh, Pandavas, more than that, Buddhava? No. We will not reject, but we will do pranam. And by pausing, what we want? Radha Marshi? How Radha, Srimati Radhika serving Krishna? No. Also doing so much pranam. This is go. But the Shevi cause of Srila Srita. Who are they? Tambular Panabhata Marnan, Payodana Vishara. For that, Rup Manjari Mukha, Dasika Sanseham. Oh, the Dasham of Rup Goswami and Rup Manjari. Then you will be perfect. And that is called Nisheshaya. This is a topmost Nisheshaya. So you should realize all things. And don't waste it a single moment time for sense gratifications. Always try to maintain anyhow your life, but this should be aim and object of our life. Now we should come in our subject. We have come up to Uddha or, or not yet. Up to Pandavas. Nadi is glorifying so much Pandava. So Pandavas are bosom friend. Krishna is their servant. Even washing and massaging his horses, what to tell Pandavas? Kunti like mother, Yudhishthi like father, mother and elder brother. Being, oh, like brother. And like a Sakha and Arjun, more oh, like Sakha, but some affluence sometimes. Draupadi more than any Pandava, Sakhi. So he yeah, explained all these things. Try to know all these things. And then, oh, Pandavas told that we are very unfortunate. Oh, he teaches us Gita. Oh, be Sharanagata. Oh, we are very. And also, when Krishna does any service, we become very shame. And sometimes against our wishes, he became charioter. He was washing the horses of Arjuna and massaging. Why, you know? Pandavas told to Arjun. Why, you know? Not for us, not for me, but to kill demons. And he directly not killed so much. <coughs> oh, I will have to kill. Even I could, I don't want to, did not want to kill Bhisham Pitama, Dronachat and others. But when I used to be gentle. Huh? Gentle. What? what word? I <coughs> used to uh, tell that I cannot fight with Drona, Bhisham, Pitama. Oh, they are my guru, they are my Pitama. But Krishna used to 
Hmm? Inspired me and forced me that you should kill them all. Oh, how dangerous she was. I know Bhishan Pitama was a high class bhakta too. But he enforced me to kill. Oh, this was very, very bad. <laughs> Anyone cannot kill his guru? Huh? More than father. But he told me again and again, oh, you should shoot him. Oh. So he had not uh, serving us and very near and dear. But why? To protect whole universe. To help demigods and to kill See, he, he has forced to do it. So he can. <coughs> oh, if you want to see any high class of reservoir of love and affection of Krishna, oh, at once you should fly to Dwarka. Huh? And that part you will see there. <laughs> hmm? Who is Uddhav? Vishninam Pravaro Mantri Krishnasya Daita Sakha Shishyo Brihaspati Shakshat Uddhav Buddhi Shaktam What is the meaning? You can tell the city. No. Vrishni Nam Pravaro Mantri. Among the Vrishni dynasty, then Udhavji is Pravar. He is the best. Why? You know that Vasudev Maharaj, the father of Krishna, had a brother. His brother's name is Devabhag. So the son of Devabhag was Uddhav. In this way, Uddhav is in Vrishni dynasty and he is the cousin of Krishna. And from his birth, he was completely dedicated to Krishna. From his childhood, he would worship the deity of Krishna. Oh, so devotedly that he would not even take, eat anything or take any water until his puja and chanting of mantras and everything was completed. <coughs> so, Rishni Nam Pravaro Mantri, Krishna accepted Uddhav to be his mantri, his minister. And when he had to make any important decisions, then he would take shelter of Uddhav and receive advice from him. Vrishni Nam Pravaro Mantri Krishnasya Daita Sakha. He is Krishna's Daita. Daita means Data Atmanam. Who has given his heart completely to Krishna? He is called Krishna's Daita, near and dear one. Krishnasya Daita Sakha. And he's also a friend, a very close friend of Krishna. He's very qualified because Sakshat Brihaspati Shishya. He is the direct disciple of Brihaspati, the guru of all the demigods. So he's very expert in all different types of arts and uh, knowledge and di diplomacy. He's very tactful. And Uddhava Buddhi Sattamaha. His buddhi, his intelligence is completely pure. And therefore he can be absorbed in Krishna 24 hours a day. Krishna has told himself for Uddha. Na tatha priyatama, atma jorni na sankaraha, na cha sankarsano, na si, na eva atma, cha bhavan. Uddha, you are my most dearest. Hmm? Even Brahma, he being son, oh Shankar, being none different to me, Shankarsan, my brother, Sri Lakshmi, Evatma, my life is not dear like you. <clears throat> and you are so much my dear. Also, Krishna has told Uddha, Nautho Pannapi Matni. Don't think that Uddha is even some inferior to me. Inferior to me. Don't think. He is like me. Sometimes he can be more than me. So how Uddhav is? So you should go to Uddhav. And Narva went there and glorifying him. Uddhav then told him. Oh, 
Don't tell us. Don't tell us. I know that I myself so high class of devotees of Krishna. And also I know what? That Krishna sometimes but brought Paryat Pushpa from where? Heaven, planet, and gave it to Rukmini. And he also brought whole tree and he planted in the courtyard of Shratyabhama. You know, once uh, Krishna was sitting uh, in the court council of all the queens, queens like Rukmini, Shratyabhama, all were there. 1600 also Queens were there. And at once Nath came there, taking a flower of Parijat from heaven. And he told Krishna, Oh, please take this flower. And I want that you should give at once to your most eh, beloved queen. Oh, Krishna thought that, oh, this Narada is very tricky. <laughs> he wants to fell me in a oh, problem. If I will give it to Rukmini, oh, Shatabhama and all others will be angry. And it will take so much time to pacify them. And if I am going to Shatabhama, then others. If I am going to give it anyone, other will be angry. Nath told that, oh, I have so many business to do here, here and there. Please, uh, you should give in my presence at once, because I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> then Krishna thought, hey, what should I do? But uh, and then again and again he was requesting. Then all were sitting there and he took and he closed his eyes and gave it to Rukh. He thought that if I will Look, then all will see that I am giving. <laughs> so, like ignorant, he gave it to Rukmini. And at once, like a serpent, phone like this, home call. <laughs> and Satyabhama hmm, ran away to his, his palace. And he, he took his all garments and all ornaments oh, throw it, throw it, throw it. and take, took some worn and told and very dirty clothes. And she began to weep in his kop bhaman. Kop bhaman. Anger room. For queens, the, uh, the kings used to make a anger room. <laughs> They used to know that if she is in anger room, then oh, I will have to pacify. <laughs> so she went in that and began to weep loudly. All his servant, maid servant, were were pacifying, but no. Oh, Krishna, so oh, that oh, very wrong, very wrong. Oh, I should go and pacify. He went there and he kept his hand on the body of Shatrughna, but she. Throw it off and go off at once from here. I don't want, I don't believe you are a cheater. <laughs> that took me, cheated me and insulted me in all conscience. <laughs> and she began to mourn me. Krishna told that, oh, listen me something. I have given one flower to Rukmini and you are so much but upset, upset. I will bring the whole plant, the tree from heavenly plant and I will uh, plant it in your concept, in your courtyard. Oh, you cannot do, I know. Even a flower you could not give me and you bring tree. Oh, be pacified. Come with me. And he called Garud and Garud came. 
and then at once uh, was seated on Guru. And Krishna went there in her heavenly plan. And he did fight with Indra and demigods and defeated them and defeated one tree and brought two. Well, in the court of Shatram. Then he, he told that to invite all the queens. Also, Rukmini. So Rukmini also came and all the queens came. Oh, Rukmini saw that Krishna is planting that Parijat tree in the courtyard of Satyabhama. He was something feeling in heart, but not openly he was doing anything. Then Krishna told, Oh Satyabhama, you see, I gave only one flower and you became so upset. And I am giving whole treat in your courtyard and he is glad here. Oh, can you learn something from this? <laughs> so Krishna was doing all these things. Also you know that he brought Sudharma Shabha. From where? Oh, defeating all demigods again. Why he did? Because he knew that they have some uh, false ego that we are the king of all universe. To crush their this false ego, he did so. He brought uh, that Sudharma Sabha in Dwarka. Eh? So Krishna, how serving uh, Jarva in Dwarka? And also, you should know, uh, Ukrishen, the father of Kans, he made Kans imperial and told, I am your servant. Please give me order what to do and I will bring taxes from all our universe and I will pay you. Don't be very so order or oh, he became servant and also you know Shankarsan is his brother who is father Vasudev Maharaj mother Roni mother there are so many brothers and also Krishna has so many sons ten sons from each queen and one daughter then how it might, maybe, uh, 11 into south, uh, so many sons, daughters, and after that, Aniruddha, and so many grandsons, so many wives of the grandsons and all, all were related to, blood related to Krishna. They are Atmi and Svajan. So Krishna, there, in this respect, in this, what, in Sambandha, relation, blood relation. Pandavas had no blood relation, but they are like brothers, friends. But they are, so how glorious is, glorious are the Dwarka Vasi, hmm? Also, you should know that when he went and told to Uddhav, Uddhav admitted, we are very high class of devotee and Krishna is my very dear. And what Krishna had told, I accept all. That I is him mantri, his friend, his das and everything. I admit all this. But there is something. What is that? I lament. Why are you lamenting you? Then he told. I was proud of this, that I am serving Krishna in so many ways. But my all false ego. false ego was crushed when I went to Vrindavan. 
When I saw the glories of gopis, how their love is like Everest mountain, how deep more than Pacific Ocean, how no end, no border, no shima, ananta, agar, gopi love is there. I could not <coughs> measure their love and affection. So, if you want to see, oh, then go there. How glorious! All Brajvasi. Oh, Bhagyam, oh, Bhagyam, Nanda Gopa Prajokasam, Janamitram. Paramananda, Purna Brahma Sanatan, Purna Brahma Sanatan Krishna, Supreme Authority, hmm? Supreme of Supreme, Lords of Lords, Krishna, very powerful, very sweet and all having all power. In a moment he can destroy whole universe and create again all oh, millions of universes. But, he is, he wants to serve gopis. So, Aho Bhagavan, Krishna, that Krishna who is friends of all in Nanda, Braja, Nanda gone, or in Braja, everywhere. His Mitra, his son, his friend of all the Brajavasya. Also, what he is telling Buddha, that Etah Param Tanuprito. What is telling? Eta Paro Param Tanupritu. Who has taken the uh, human form in this world? In this world, oh, this earth is so what? fortunate. Why? Because gopis are there. Otherwise, no glorification of earth. So, Govinda Eva, Akhilatmani, Rudha Bhava. Krishna is the soul and life of all universe. No? Govinda, especially shown of life of go, gopi, go, cows and coughs and all others. Though he lives in oh, Golok, all top to bottom. Hmm? And one chanti, jata bhava bhiyo, those who are fearing from this world hmm? and all munis, Vaincha, myself, and like myself, so many rishis, money, and others. We want what? To serve that Krishna with gopis, especially his gopis. Kim Brahma Janvi. We don't want to be Brahma or Brahman Janma, but in Brahman dynasty. Or to be Brahma, those who are drinking the nectar of Krishna sweet pastimes, they don't want all these things. So glorifying all the gop and gopis and everyone. One or uh, what more? Asamaho charanarin yusamaham syam anam kimapi can you explain? <coughs> oh, my God, I'm going to No, no, don't waste time. We have no time. Don't laugh. 
So this verse, which Srila Gurudev is quoting, spoken by Uddhava, after he had stayed with the gopis in Vrindavan and witnessed their unparalleled, unlimited, uh, unbounded love for Krishna. So, at that time he realized his own position in relation to their development of the highest inconceivable praying. So, he spoke this verse, uh, and in this verse, he is begging for a particular birth in Vrindavan. Asa maho charanarin ujasham aham shyam Vrindavane kimapi gulma lato shadhinam Here, Uddhava is saying that my desire, my asha, is that uh, I can take my birth in Vrindavan, uh, but I want to take my birth in a very uh, lowly species, simply some uh, creeper or some bush in Vrindavan. And on the side of the pathway through the forest, I want to be situated there. <coughs> because if I am situated there, there is very great opportunity for me that as the gopis are passing by, uh, that the transcendental dust, charna reinu, their transcendental exalted dust from their lotus feet, it will come upon me and then my life will be completely successful. These gopis, they have given everything up for the sake of serving Krishna. Ya dustya jam swajana maryam patam chahitva. They gave up all family relations left everything behind, had no personal consideration whatsoever. These things are impossible for ladies in Vedic society to give up their chastity to their husbands, their dedication to their family and to society. But the gopis have no consideration whatsoever for this, and they completely abandoned all of these attachments to serve Krishna. So exalted is their position. And who are they serving? Bejur Makunda Padavim Shruti Bir Vimrikyam. Even the Shrutis, the Vedas, personified all the greatest saints and sages in the universe. They're searching after uh, this Krishna. Uh, these gopis, they have given up everything to serve Krishna. So Uddhava prayed in this way, in the most humble manner, because he realized that in comparison to his own position, even though, as we are hearing, Krishna is telling that no one is as dear to you as me, O Uddhava. But Uddhava's position is that no one can compare to the gopis praying for Krishna. So Uddhava begged in this way that he would be blessed by simply a particle of the dust of their lotus feet. Why he wanted to be like uh, creeper or blade of cross or grass, why he wanted? So that he could take the dust from the lotus feet of the gopis upon him. When, when is Krishna with gopis or gopis are going to meet Krishna? Oh. So at that time in the way, they will put their face on the crosses, and my life will be successful. So where are gopis and their love and affection for Krishna, and where is Buddha, myself? He is also telling, what? Jāvai Sri Arshi, ajādi bhīya tokāmai yogeshvare dhiti sadāpmani rāsa goshtya Krishna shatat bhagavat charanāra bindam Tanayesu Pahir. What is meaning? Sri Uddhavji, he is praying. Yavai Sri Ajitam Ajadevi Aptakame Yogeshwara Sadatmani Rasa Gostam. Krishnasya tad bhagavata cha naravindam nyastam kucheshu vidru parirabhyatapam That, just see, Yavai Sri, 
Lakshmi Devi herself, she's doing the archan of Krishna's lotus feet. But how? Not directly in her heart. She has left everything hmm, to go to Balvan and there, or by mind, she's thinking about the lotus feet of Krishna. It is very difficult for Lakshmi Devi to attain. Yavaishyatitam Ajadi Viraktakamai And many... Ajadi Sriyayi Archita Ajadi What will you? All the Aptakame, all the rishis who are self-satisfied, all they have no material desire at all. They are pure. And they also desire to serve lotus feet of Krishna. No, but no. They, but they cannot do. They have to do archan. Oh. Sri, Mane Lakshmi. Oh. Brahma, Aja, and Shankar all are arching the feet of Lakshmi. And that Lakshmi what do? He wants doing stories to serve Krishna. But she cannot. Though Brahma and Shankar all are achieved doing person of Lakshmi, but she wants, what she wants? To, to serve Krishna and to come in the Ras Lila. But Krishna rejected her. And that Lord was faith for now you shall see it. Yogeshwara Apisadatmani Rasa Gostam, those who Yogeshwara the great masters of mystic power, like Shukadeva Goswami, Mahadev, and many others, they also desire the service of Krishna. But it is very hard for them. Though they have sadatmani, though their hearts are pure, uh, completely uncontaminated, yet they cannot attain this service. But what happened? Rasa Gostam, Krishna Sita Bhagavata, Charnaravinda. At the time of Rasa Lila, then Oh, those lotus feet of Krishna, not by worship, indirectly, but directly, the gopis of Vrindavan, they worship the lotus feet of Krishna. How? Oh, yate sujata charnam buru hamstaneshu. The gopis, they take the lotus feet of Krishna upon their breast. Nyastam kucheshu vijaru parirabhyatapam. And the heat of their praying, they come for Krishna was satisfied by keeping their, by Krishna keeping their, his lotus feet on their breast. But actually the deep meaning, more than that. Not, even though Lakshmi Devi, by mind, it is very difficult for her to do archan of the lotus feet of Krishna. But the lotus feet of Krishna, they're doing the uh, seva, puja of the breast of gopis of Vrindavan. And when Krishna took, uh, clapped his lotus feet on the breast of gopis of Vrindavan, Parirabhyatapam. It was Krishna's desire which was fulfilled. And it was the burning calm in his heart which was satisfied by keeping his lotus feet on the breast of gopis. And therefore, they are so glorious. Thank you, Panchakar. Thank you. And then to began to beat and crawl. And then lost, he told, Bande Nanda Prajayistrina Padarenu Mavikshnasa Jasam Hari Katot Gita Kunati Puana Can you? Anyone? Can you? Try? Oh, gracefully we are going up and up. What will be our aim and object of our Shadhan Bhajan? I know that rare will collect this. But even we are telling that you should have some greed for this. Shri Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words on the meaning of this verse spoken by Udav. Pande Nanda Braje Strinam Nanda Braj Braj of Nanda Maharaj His son Their beloveds The gopis Udav is offering his dandavat pranams, his ardent prayers, his bandana. Bande nanda brajestrinam, pada rainam abhikshnasam. He wants to take the dust of their lotus feet on his head. He realizes that he's not qualified 
to touch the dust of their lotus feet. So he prays then in the direction of their lotus feet. And he prays for one particle of dust. If I can get one particle of dust, he's begging, let that particle be the dust of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. And if I cannot get that dust, the direction of that dust in my heart, then I want the dust of the lotus feet of her sakis, of her maidservants. Sri Rupa Manjari is also the dust of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. So Uda wants to be a servant of the servant of Srimati Radhika. Krishna sent him to Braj in order to have him enter the school of the gopis. Oh, thank you. Krishna, 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 Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs>